Uncle Sam Livecast. How are you? Good. How are Max, you? Good. Max, good. Can't complain. Chief, you're good back there. Yeah, it smells great in here, Woody. What are you doing? It does smell. Uh, all I'm doing so far is uh, cooking some onions in here. I'll let Max see those. White onion, diced up, right? Softened at this point. I'm gonna add some garlic to it in a minute. The blender's out. That can only mean one thing. We're cooking squirrels today. <laughs> I've used that joke. Oh, yeah. I have no idea how many times I've used that joke, and it does not ever get better. But what we are making is something that uh, the three of us had in Mexico for Mark's wedding. Mark the roasted impressive. poblano soup. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now, I should say, Mark, my nephew, uh, got married in Mexico. We were down there. And um, we were served this soup at dinner that was pretty so much everybody good. there said it was like the best thing ever. Yeah. I actually could have... I'm sure I could have asked for the recipe, and I didn't. I'm going <laughs> off of what the owner of the, uh, the beautiful little uh, boutique hotel called, what's it called, wait? Casa de Casa Mita. Mita. Casa de Mita. Mark said, he goes, oh, it's roasted poblanas, uh, some chicken broth, some cream, and that's about it. Yeah. So we're adding onion because it seems right. We're gonna add some garlic to this, and we've roasted the poblanos because if, it, if I'm trying to, you know, do this thing in sort of a semi-reasonable amount of time, starting the roasting poblano thing now is going to take too much. So Ooh. here's what we've got. Well, all I did was I took the poblano chilies, peppers, I put them on this rack, put them in the oven under, the, under broil, this, this far away from the, the glowing top-down heat, right? I took them out, and now here they are. And this is what they're going to look like. And you put, them in a, you put them in a paper bag. Because why? To help Whoa. them steam. And what the steam does is the steam will help release the uh, skin. Blender in the way. So what you, when you roast, what you're doing is, A, you're sort of like really intensifying the flavor, right? Wow. But more important, I mean, that's the main reason. But the other thing you do it for is because it, it, the skin comes off and you don't want the skin. I should probably do this with the sink, Maxi. What you want is what's underneath it. So watch this. Wow, those used to be green at some point. They, they were bright green, right? You can yeah. see a little bit of green here. So this is what you want. See how this paper comes off? Yeah. Oh. This is what you want. Those are going to be delicious. Is that just the skin of the pepper? That's the skin of the pepper that in this case we do not want, right? So would roasting a bell pepper result in the same thing? Same thing, absolutely. That skin would peel off. That skin would just peel off right like this. Okay? Now, when you ate it, do you remember any bits of like the charred skin in there? I or? don't remember. I remember, but you know what? By that point, Lynn, it was dark. Ah. You know, I mean, we were all underneath that big can, ah, shit. Underneath that big canopy thing. Hold on, I got, I got burning onions over here that I don't want. Let me just turn that off for a second. You see how that's happening? Wow. So now, look, when you buy jars of roasted red peppers, let me see if I have any. I don't know if I do. Sometimes what you'll see, I buy them in cans now because they're way cheaper, these guys. If I had a jar of them, you would see some of the black on the outside still, still left there. And that's not really what you want, right? I mean, a little bit is okay, and a little bit adds to flavor, and it's not terrible, but that's really not what we're going for. So what we want to do is we want to get most of the, this skin off, and you can see how really it's, it's literally now it becomes like paper. And you can do this with any kind of pepper. I'm sorry, any kind of chili, any kind of pepper. This stuff just peels right off. I probably shouldn't be spending the whole time doing this, but I wanted you to see them when they all came out of the bag, so I think it's kind of impressive. It's hot as crap, but it's still pretty impressive. Here, we need to take a break at some point, so you okay, want to Okay, so we'll do that now. Let's do this. Uh, we'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, I'm going to... Uh, these will be done. They're, just take a look at one thing, Max. Mm -hmm. When you come back, they're not just going to have all the outside off, but they're going to be... Oh, it's de-seeded? They're going to be opened up, and all the seeds are going to be out. We don't want this, right? Too spicy? 
Uh, yes, yeah, I mean, these are poblanos, so they're not that spicy. They're, they're unnecessary to the process. And we're trying to make like a, uh, like a nice, uh, smooth little soup. Okay. Okay. Right. So here, do this. Uh, go away. No, don't go away. Stay right where you are. When we come back after a short little break, these will be ready. And we'll be ready to go into the next step. And, and then it's, all, it's a very fast moving little soup once you get it going. Should be delicious. We're keeping our fingers crossed. Don't go away. Okay, so here's what's left. Look at that. I had about a pound and a half of the uh, poblanos. And now look, it's just reduced to this little pile of flesh. Oh, there's a couple of seeds in here, maybe five or six. But so now I'm just going to give this a rough chop. Everything's going in the uh, blender. So I'm just trying to... Even the onions? Onions are here. No, I mean in here, so I don't have yeah, to cut so it Yeah, so onions much. are going in. Yeah, onions are going in. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the peppers, the uh, poblanos, come next. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put them all in here. I still have leftover cold, you know. Wait, no. so that doesn't go in, I thought it was going in the blender. Oh, it's going to go in there first? Yeah, I'm just going to give it a little love in here first, oh, right? okay. I just want it to join up with the, um, with the flavors that are already in there. I put some garlic in here. So while, while you were just watching, uh, while we took that short break, come have a look inside. While we took that short break, I put, the, um, I put garlic in the onions let it soften and get all fragrant and beautiful and everything. And now the poblanos have been peeled, de-seeded, and now here they are. Nice, right? So that gets like 30 seconds more. That's it, 30 seconds. And then it's gonna go in here, and here's what I need. I need some chicken broth. <coughs> We're gonna season it. Perch. Coming up. Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> We're getting there, Max. Don't what was that worry. little? I, who knows what that little interlude was? I don't even was know if you realized he was doing that. I gave myself that. a break. Okay. Just a break. Just a little break. So now, this is going to go in here. The smell is delicious. It's uh, poblano-y. It's garlicky. Oh, oh, sorry. That was oh. that was even harsh on my ears, man. Ah. God. I want to bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right, dude. Oh my gosh. You have silicone spatula. So look at you could do this. Oh, yeah, I do. Do you not? No, I was just saying, you, you never use them with the, the all clads. Uh, well, I just wanted to get everything out. So a little broth. I don't know how much this is going to make, honestly. Do you want to look in? Do you want to go to that hole and see? Yeah. Oh, my goodness sakes. Oh, that's going to get all over your face. No. That's cool. Life inside a blender. Turning it up a bit. That's an amazing shot. But you look like you're in a boat. I'm, I know. Well, you're you're swinging a bit. Go back to one then. Oh my goodness sakes. There you go. Whoa. Okay, now I'm going to give it a little salt. Well, those little grains of sand were so cool, or little salt, salt grains. You know what's interesting is I don't know what the color of the soup was. Because it was about this color. It was, was like it? greenish brown, yeah. But you saw that cream in there, so. Well, we're going to add cream. But see, it's pretty thick. Do you need more broth? Oh, definitely. I don't know if I was going to add more here 
or if I was going to add it when it's uh, got it back into the pot to heat up. It looks like some vortex in space. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like I'm going to fall into it. I'm going to put the lid on. Okay. That's a cool color. I think it was a little more brownish than that, but it's not like a brownish. I like the color. So you this is still thicker than it, I believe it was. For all we know, it could have been that exact color. What? It was in a little clay bowl, right? Right. That's beautiful. Yes. Verdict? I don't think that's it. I'm not sure, but do you know what? It's not... So it needs to be thinner. More broth? Oh, definitely more broth. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to mix this for a second. Gonna get a little cream. And now back in the pot. Dang it. Does that look right? The consistency looks great. The consistency looks fine. Now. Yeah. Right? Flavor, I can't tell. Oh, Lynn didn't eat it. I didn't. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. Hold yeah. I wish I did now so I can help out here. <laughs> I'm sure you could help out. Lynn was in his corner by himself. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's damn good. It's pretty good. Lynn was. You know what the I like photography to give it? at my cousin's wedding. That's why he was there and in the corner. You know what I wish I'd done? I wish I'd put a little cilantro in it, maybe. Ah, hmm. interesting, yeah. You I know what? It, uh, it has a very similar aftertaste. It's close. Hold on. You're very close. Watch this. We're pretty close to this being done. Do you have cilantro? I always have cilantro. Oh, really? Your mom always has cilantro. Uh, she actually she does. She probably does. She loves cilantro. You know what they call it? You know what they call Asian cilantro? Parsley? Uh, uh, wait, stop, stop, stop. The Asian parsley, really? No, no, cilantro's called... Yes! Wait, this is parsley. Oh, oh Asian, you're talking about Chinese people. Yeah, Asian parsley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's the seed that cilantro's from? Oh, jeez. Um, oh, uh, coriander. Coriander, that's what it is. Right. So let's try this. How's that look? Good. Right. Good? Yeah. Handful. Handful. Lid? I think this is a smart move, man. Well, it might be. We're about Wait, to find out. What, what wasn't lime? a smart move is that I left this pot with nothing in it burning. Look at it right here. Now it's smoking, and that's probably going to ruin. Go to that chat, Lid. <laughs> that's probably going to ruin things now. No. What about lime juice? Uh, the plan was to do a little lime on the side. Like a little squeeze on top. Right. So I'm thinking, you know, cilantro, onions, next thing that comes to mind is lime. Yeah. Okay. By the way, the power of the Vitamix blender, I could have just left everything in this. I could have left everything in this, kept it spitting, and in five minutes it would have heated it beautifully. Really? Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. The thing's just a workhorse, powerhouse workhorse. I've just made a terrible mess here now. It's all right. Okay, heating a little bit. Check this out. Here's my next move. I'm going to serve it now. And here's how I want to do this. It's going to be mostly green. I hope you're going to be okay with that. Yeah. 
Green on green is nice. It's kind of what I remember from the other night. I'll use every knife that I own today. <laughs> Green on green is very nice. Who said that? That's me. That's your photographer speaking. It is my photographer speaking. You ever do that thing where you um, you haven't used a knife in a really, really long time, and then when you use it again, you realize why you liked it so much? Uh, yeah, yes. Or do you, do you, are you like, you know, you give all your kids love equally? Kind of I, I try and do sort of equal-ish love with the, with the knives and stuff, but... Oh, whoa, 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 I don't want you doing that. <laughs> Did you hear it? You heard it mm -hmm. bubbling. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you something. If you go take a look at that, Max, the cilantro, yes, for sure, will add flavor, but look what it did to the colors. Ooh, yeah. I mean, that's kind of a bad angle, but yes. <laughs> I dig it. Okay, really know what the hell to serve this in. So I'm gonna do this little baby. I'm just gonna do this. Just a tiny bit and see how this is. Where's my wheat olive, thank you. We all have finishing oil, the best. We talked about we all have. Go to weallof.com for all things extra virgin in the California olive oil world. That's all they sell. Don't go there looking for a hybrid. Don't, th don't go there looking for something that you think came from Spain but might have made its way through uh, Tokyo and then uh, Seattle before it came here because that's not what it is. Only California extra virgin olive oils, that's all they carry. Well, they carry other things, but when it comes to extra virgin olive oils, that's it. All from California, all amazing. Go in there, ask for an education, and they will do that for you. So a couple good drizzles on top. A little bit of this avocado. Green on green. Yep. Hold on. It's gonna take a nice picture. A little bit of cilantro. Yes, 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 look at and in that. Okay, here it is. There it is. Have a look at that. And then let's see how we've done. I'm gonna taste this. Ready? It's beautiful. It looks pretty legit, man. It looks good. You wanna try this? Mm-hmm. I think that soup was a little thinner, mm. but this is damn good. Mm. And what was it? Holy snikes. Okay. Damn it, you gotta make this. Oh, I say it again. I need some of that for jelly. Do I need a new line? No. I gotta find a new line because people are gonna not believe me anymore. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. The avocado, the cilantro, a little bit of wee olive, extra version on top, pepper. That's a damn fine soup. That is a damn fine soup. I'll try and write down what I did to it because I don't really remember, but I'll put this in the recipe form anyway. Thank you for hanging out with us. Do this. Go to thecookingguy.com, click on the live cast. We're all there or just go to the samlivecast.com. We try and put the recipes there. We try and make sure that you have the information you want. May email us from the Sam Livecast page. There's a little link there. You can email us and we'll answer your questions and, and try and make sure that you get what you want because that's what we do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that's Thanks what for we hanging do. out with us today. It's been a lot of fun. We've enjoyed being back after a little break. But no breaks for a while. See ya. See ya next time. See ya uh, next time. It's the best I got. Love you guys. Bye.